Hello everyone and welcome back to Closets Gaming. Today we are going to take a look at Inked. This adventure puzzle game promises an amazing tale of love and vengeance, interesting puzzles and wonderful graphics. Whether you can deliver on this promise is the question we will try to answer today. Inked is available on Steam for 16 euros and 79 cents with a regional equivalent. This game was something that was on my list for a few weeks now, but when I saw that this week was really dull when it comes to new releases, I decided to keep this one for this week and I finally got to it. Let's start with the core of every game. The gameplay. Ink's core gameplay is centered around puzzle. And the puzzles are centered around a simple mechanic. You, as the main character, have an ability to draw certain objects into existence. These objects are very simple, like a ball, a cube, or a slope, and a few others. You start with the ability to draw a single object, and as you progress, you get more ink and get to eventually draw up to 5 objects. And you need to combine these to create structures that will allow you Our to pass through the level. The sea of Sometimes geometry. there will be an additional level of complexity added with a puzzle that requires you to use these objects in the level in a way that allows you to Say, for example, open a door by holding a lever open or force water into a different hole. And I gotta say, I really like the puzzles in general. And the drawing mechanic is something that I liked even more. It's original, perfectly fits the game's theme and narrative, just an ideal use of a mechanic. Inked also has a few additional mechanics, but most of them aren't used that often to really warrant a huge mention in the reviews, maybe apart from one. And that's the fact that sometimes there are enemies you need to avoid. These enemies are either trying to run you over or eat you, and you just can't ever allow them to get too close to you because, well, you don't have any form of attack, so you have to find a way to avoid them using your drawings. Another big part of reviewing gameplay is the game time you will spend playing the game, as that is a large part of what I like to call the value proposition. And I got to about half of the game in about 3, maybe 4 hours of playing it, and that's not bad for a primarily story based game. Actually that's really good. So when it comes to the gameplay, Inked is fun and has an interesting approach to puzzles. And that is honestly all you want from an adventure puzzle game. That means, good job. Now that we have covered the gameplay, it is time to move on to the part of the game that initially draws attention of most consumers, including me. The graphics. And as you can see from the video, it's freaking gorgeous. Or maybe it's just me. But I just love the simplicity of the graphics and how it still manages to get so much emotion through even though it is so simple. The style is pretty obvious, it's just pen drawings, like you did in school when you were bored. Well, but better. The only problem with the graphics I have comes from the perspective. Sometimes the game will appear glitchy, especially in rooms that are fully surrounded by walls as the walls that would otherwise block your vision disappear. But then you go to a place in a room and the walls appear for a moment. It's not a huge deal, but it doesn't help the suspense of disbelief at times. Interestingly enough, the game doesn't just use the pen and paper graphics all the time. Sometimes it will go into a 3D world when you view the game from the point of view of its creator. And that's a really cool idea. I just wish that instead of, well, decent quality 3D graphics, Real world video was used for these sections. That would have been even so much cooler. Now, since this is a Our heavily story focused game, bird. it is time Prince. to talk about because the story for a moment. But that's really off. hard to do without going into spoiler territory. But I'll try to do Will my best. Hero ever see the story follows a nameless hero who has lost his loved one and is on a journey of recovery and vengeance. And that's really all I can say without spoiling it. But I can try to talk about the way the story is presented. There are two main ways the story gets told. Through gameplay, which I personally find the best way to tell stories in video games, and then through the narrator. 
The narrator is used in an interesting way in Inked, as the creator of the game slash story is also the narrator. This is one of the coolest ways I've ever seen a narrator as a means of storytelling. Usually they're just a the voice that explains the world to you, but here he's almost more of a commentator rather than just a tool used to explain things. And that leads me nicely to the last, sort of unique thing about the way the story is presented to you in Inked. It intermingles reality and the game. That's not something we get to see very often and I wish it would be used more often geometry, as it is the one of the coolest ways to do storytelling. The very last tool games had at their disposal to build atmosphere is the music. And Inks music is good. More subtle than in your face, that's what I'd call it. But that fits the themes of the story very well. Good choice of music and the sound effects work decently as well. In terms of the performance of Inked, I can't really complain. Apart from the few graphical glitches that I already mentioned before, I haven't seen any bugs nor have I experienced any crashes. So pretty good on this front. So in conclusion, Inked is a lovely adventure puzzle game. If you are a person who likes this genre, I can definitely tell you that you will enjoy Inked. And even if you're not the biggest fan of this genre, I think you will have plenty of fun and emotion when going through the story. The puzzles are nice and creative, the story is great, visually the game is just amazing. What more do you want from a puzzle adventure game? Definitely a recommendation from me. So that's it for today guys, hope you liked the Our review and if you did please consider Bridget, giving us a thumbs up here on YouTube and, and subscribing to the right channel if you and comment if you have something you would like to add. See you guys later with more gaming content.